everyone. Welcome to the Campbell Center's Art Academy YouTube channel. My name is Rochelle Cabra. I am the art instructor for the Campbell Center's Art Academy. And in today's lesson, we're going to be drawing three different classic cartoon characters with some fundamentals of drawing. We're going to be learning some tips and trips in each character, such as drawing Popeye the Sailor Man, Betty Rock, from the Flintstones, and Woody Woodpecker. Each of these cartoon characters is going to have a fundamental of art where we're going to be measuring, looking for lines within the cartoon character, and how to draw them step by step. The supplies you're going to be needing with this lesson is a pencil, a pen, a sharpener, an eraser. This is optional, but we're going to be using crayons. If you want to use crayons to color your cartoon character, you could definitely use it to add some bit of color into your cartoon character after you finish drawing it. So go ahead and get your supplies. And of course, do not forget to get some paper. And after this, we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so we will be learning how to draw Popeye the Sailor Man's head. I'll be drawing in a regular pen. As usual, you guys can use a pencil to do this drawing. I suggest drawing in pencil first, but if you like to try it in pen, you will go ahead and follow my lead. So the first thing that what we're going to do first is we're going to do a measurement of the head. We're going to go ahead and try to use the whole paper, a uh, printer paper, and we're going to draw about two heads. So I'm going to draw a head kind of like this. You're going to draw a big circle somewhat like this. I'm using my pen. And I'm drawing a circle kind of like that. You will be doing this to do this. You're going to be doing this with your pen uh, or pencil. And so on the bottom in the middle, you're going to be doing another circle. And the reason why we're doing this is because Popeye the Salmon has a big chin. So we're going to use this so we can measure his bottom chin and his upper head. What we're going to do next is that we're going to do lines that are going from here to here so we can measure the placement of his eyes. So starting from here to here, you're just going to do lines kind of like this. Okay. Then you're going to do another one. Starting from here to here, you're going to do a line just like this. So. What we're going to do also is a line going, we're also going to do probably another circle like this here as well on top to do his hat. So from here to here, it should be your width of Popeye's hat. So something like that would be good. Then what we're going to do next is we're going to try to create some lines in the middle here as well. I'm going to create a line in the middle between these two. As you can see how I did it, just like that, you're going to be doing a line. That's of course place the head in the mouth. We're going to go ahead and start doing the outer line. So before we do that, what we're going to do is I'm going to place an ear. So around here where we did that line, I'm going to create a letter C. A big letter C like this. Just like that. So you're going from here to here around this length. So it's about a half a finger length will be his ear. So you're creating the letter C. Then you're going to create like a letter T. The way to do the letter T is I'm going to tilt my paper a little bit and I'm going to create the letter T by creating this uh, 
this T kind of like this. In the middle of this letter C that we created, we're going to create like this line first. And then we're going to create that letter T. But I'm kind of doing like a letter N, so it's like a nice little line. So I'll repeat the steps. Again, we're going to create this line that's kind of like a curve. And then on top of it, you're going to create another detailed letter another detailed uh, curve to create like the letter T. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and do the out uh, lines. So from here to here, around here to here, you're going to create Popeye's head. So what we're going to do, we're just going to darken this line here from here to here. I'm going back and forth with my pen since a pen has a, a very fine tip, I'm just going to go back and forth with it. So around this length, you're going to have the head. Then what you're going to do is starting from the edge or the end of this ear, we're going to create a very big C. And the way we're going to do this is that I'm going to tilt my paper a little bit so we can create this nice stroke. Starting from here, from this end of this ear, I'm going to connect a line going like this to here. Again, I'm going to do it one more time from here to here, here to here. So as you can see, I'm creating like the letter U or a backward C. So I'm using this tail and I'm just stroking. I'm doing a very big stroke. So just go ahead and do it back and forth, this letter C that is pretty big from here to the middle of this line that was right here. I'm also going to create uh, a curve going up like this. So while you're flicking, going like this back and forth, you're going to have this end of this line and you're going to go up. So you're creating like a hook, but you're almost like doing like a circle because we're creating Popeye's chin. As you can see, I created his chin. Again, we're creating a line starting from here to here. And now we're creating this upper chin like a flick. I'm going to have my paper straight again. And I'm going to do his chin again. But this time, I'm going to go ahead and before we do the second chin, there's a way to create that nice smooth curve because Popeye's facial uh, face has a very big S. And we're going to start again back to here to do the second chin. Everything is connected, so I'm going to show you step by step. Since we created this line to create the hat, do not worry. What we're going to be doing is we're going to actually create a very big line here to here almost to the middle of the head. So what we're going to be doing is I'm going to darken this line and I'm going to follow the line that we created before. I'm going to follow it. See how I did that line? I'm going back and forth. I'm stopping almost close to the middle. So I'm darkening my line. I'm going back and forth with my lines to create a very thick line. Before we continue, I'm going to create a circle in the middle. And you're going to do a circle right around here. And going to do a circle just like that. If you're doing it in pencil, you could erase the inner line inside. If you're doing it in pen, do not worry because if you're ready to trace over your paper, you will be able to get rid of that line. Next step, what we're going to do is we're going to create a very big S because we're going to finish his head to his chin. Starting from here, what we're going to do is I'm going to curve my line and I'm going to follow from here here down to all the way here. So you're going to create 
like a curve like this back and forth and you're gonna stop almost right here where this line that we created here you're gonna just create this very big line back and forth back and forth and that's how you do it then we're gonna continue doing the line and then we're gonna start curving so you're gonna continue creating your line almost like a half circle but then we're going to start curving it and the way we're going to do it is we're going to curve out following and tracing over this so slowly we're going to create out like almost like a c a letter c we're curving out and then we're going to go under so so we're, we're creating a backward C and I am actually going to do it a bit bigger this time, the chin. And the reason why is because Popeye's chin is really big. I'm going to curve in. So I'm curving like a backward C. As you can almost see it, right? It's like a backward C that I'm doing. Then we're going to create his nose. So starting in the middle here, we're going to create a nose. And it's going to be like a letter U, but it's going to be very, very big. So around here, starting from this lines that we have where my pen is, I'm going to draw a big nose. So what we're going to do that is, I'm going to create, starting a line here, I'm going to create a very big nose and I'm actually going to touch this line when I'm creating the nose. So I'm going under, like a letter U. You, you can almost see it. See how I did those lines? I'm going to create a letter U, but I'm also darkening my lines as I am drawing the nose. And you're going to curve back in. So I'm going to repeat the steps one more time. So I'm going back and forth. So I started from here. And I am creating a nose like this. Again, you're touching the line that we created here. And then we're going to go under. So I'm darkening the line. You're going under. And you're going back up like a hook to create like a backward C or the letter C. And that's how you make Popeye's nose. So it's like a curve. It's like a big letter U but almost looks like a curve of tomato. So now that we have done the curve of Popeye's facial features, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do his eyebrow but also his eye. So kind of a little bit see where the line is right starting right here where we have that line that we did before I'm gonna do his eye and we're gonna do only one eye so I'm gonna create an oval like a circle right here and this is like an oval if you want you could leave that circle open or you could fill it in with your pen or pencil I'm going to fill it in with my pen. This way we can know it's Popeye's eye. And I'm just filling it with pen. Okay. Then, what I'm going to do now is doing his eyebrow. We're going to go up a bit, right here. So right in this three lines, because he has, we have one, two, three lines. So I say around here, between here, we'll start doing his first eyebrow. The way we're going to do that is, I'm going to start by doing almost like a letter N, but without the flick. So I'm starting right around here. 
and I'm going lightly and I'm curving in to make that letter N. And I'm going down and here. It's so right here. I'm doing that backward N and I'm doing his first eyebrow. Then we're going to create a very beautiful curve. To create the beautiful curve is his second eye, which is the second eye. We're going to start from kind of in the middle of this eye and we're going to go a little bit further. So right in the middle. So I'm going to do a line just for reference, just right here. This is where we're going to start his eye. This is just a reference. You can do this to help you have the placement of the eye, but that's fine. What we're going to do is, since we're doing the middle of the eye, we're going to start doing his eyebrow. So what I'm doing is like a flick. My fir The first flick, and then we're going to go up very high. You're going to go up, 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 and you're going to flick it. And you're going to go down and you're going to make this other curve. So it's like letter U, a very small U, and then you're going to do like a hook right here. You see how that pretty line is? And I'm going to darken it again. You're going to start from here, creating like a U, go up, and create a flick. Kind of like that. Then you're going to do his closed eye. You're going to follow almost the same steps, but instead you're going to have a little bit of separation right here. So in the middle of this here and here of this line, you're going to create a flick. So kind of like this, you're going to go a little bit up while you're flicking, kind of like that. And then you're going to go up and down. And you're flicking a bit inwards. You see how I did it? Again, you're going to flick a bit up. You're going to go down. Then you're going to go up and down. So as you can see, it's almost like a wave. Almost like that. Then before we finish the eye, I'm going to do two lines. There's the signature eye folds of Popeye's eye or right eye. You're going to do two lines like a backward C. Kind of like next to here. You're going to do one and two. Kind of like that. They're like you know, it's like on your, uh, I was going to say exclamation points, but there's no dots. So, what we're going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and do his mouth. So his signature mouth will be doing the same thing, like doing curves like this of the lines. Instead, it's going to be right here. We're going to start by the middle of this nose right around here. So where my pen is, you're going to have about going starting from here down to here is where you're going to start doing his first line. You're going to make a line, actually we're following this line, right here is good, and then we're going to create a very thick line, and then we're going to curve and curve and curve right around here. So I'm just uh, fixing the ear a little bit, so right around here we are going to do his mouth. Kind of like that. So what this is, it's like you're going in and you're curving down to create like a hook. So you're starting from here, going over, and it's like a hook. Then you're going to create a second line. So you're just going to go a few inches down. So you can count from one, two, three. And then you're going to go down and create another line. You're going to thicken it. You're going to do the same thing, but instead of flicking it, you're just going to flick just a little bit. So you're creating his mouth. Then 
we're going to create his big mouth. To create his big mouth, you're going to to create like a very big letter U. You can start from one of the two sides. I'm going to start from here. You're going to start in the middle of this line or actually where this meet line meets here. You're going to go and create that letter U kind of like this. And then you can also go from here and then starting from here, you're going to create your mouth. So you're kind of like curving your mouth to create Popeye's big mouth. Kind of like that. Now you're going to create a third line. And you're going to do the same thing. So you're creating three lines just like this because we're adding Popeye's teeth. And all you got to do is just you know, create a teeth like that. Again, you create this curve above to create his mouth. You're creating a second line that is a medium and just straight line to create his teeth. Then, what you're going to do is create another line below to create his bottom lip. You're going to just copy like this, like here. And you're just going to copy it, but you're not going to complete it. You're not going to close it. You're just going to create a line like this. You see how I did it? You're just creating a line. You're almost creating the curve and the copying it. You're going to create his tongue next. To create his tongue, I'm going to start from here, and you're going to create like a letter N. And you're going to stay in the middle of this line. And then you're going to create another one and you're going to curve in, in, just like that. So you created his tongue. Now, you could leave his mouth like this. Again, you could leave this blank. But I'm going to fill it in with my pen. I'm going to cross hash it, just filling it in darkly. You don't have to do this. But if you like to, that's okay. You could just fill it in just so that it will be his inside of his mouth. His inside of his mouth is going to be black. So I'm just filling it in really fast. There you go. So we have Popeye's mouth. Now we're going to go back up and we're going to do his hat. To do his hat, we are going to go ahead and create a brim or the top hat. So from here to here, we're actually going to flatten his head a little bit by creating a very thick line. So starting from the middle where I had this line here, I'm going to create a very thick line, kind of like this. And I'm going to fill it in to show you. Kind of like that. Okay. So we have his black brim of his uh, hat. So you're going to create a very thick line, kind of like this. Now, before we continue, we're going to go a little bit end of here, and I'm going to create like a letter N because we're going to create his hat. So we're going to follow this line that we created when we were doing the hat measurement. You're going to create a curve going up and then down. So it's like a backward C as usual or the letter C. And you're going to create a C kind of like this. You see, so I started from here. I went a few inches here or a few centimeters here. I made a C kind of like this. Now, for this part, if it goes over your paper, that's okay. But what we're going to do is now we're going to flick and create the top hat. So you're going to continue creating his hat. And you're going to curve up, 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 up. So you're flicking your pen or pencil. So you're flicking it. And then I'm going to curve back down by creating his top of his hat. So I'm going to stop right around here. So I'm following here. And I'm going to create his top hat. Kind of like this. 
And as you can see, we did his hat. Now before closing the hat, we're going to do his top hat. And we're going to follow this line. So we're going to go back to our circle right here. And we're going to go above it by creating a line like this. And we're going to go a bit straight this time. And we're going to go around almost close to his eye. So we're just creating the brim of the hat kind of like this. So what I'm doing here is that I'm making a line like this. So I'm going around. So it's like almost if you tilt your paper, it's like a big swoop, like a hook, like a, like a, almost like a letter N if you're looking at your paper like this. You could still tilt your paper so you can create, uh, so you can create the hat. And then you can see that we created Popeye's hat. Do not worry if this goes over. You're going to fill this in so I can show you. And then we created Popeye's hat. Before we continue, we're going to create two lines to make his hat, like the folds. All you got to do is just go where the end of this line is and just go a few inches here. And you're going to go flicking it out like this and like this connecting to the brim that we did again making one line here and the other line here then what we're going to do is just pipe i'm going to move my paper just a little bit and then what i'm going to do is you're going to create a very thick pipe like this you're going to create two lines coming out of his nose And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create his pipe by creating like a square like this. So my apologies that my paper is off of the page, but you will still be copying this if you have some space. So and then, all you got to do is, you're going to thicken this bottom line, so you're creating a square, just like that. And then last but not least, you're just going to create a circle for the inner side of the pipe, and just two lines sticking out like this. You see how I did that? So I did a circle, and I flicked them out by creating a circle. And that is how you do Popeye the Sailor Man's head. So this is the end of the lesson. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please remember to subscribe to our channel for more lessons and content. And thank you guys for watching the Campbell Center's Art Academy YouTube channel. See ya.